With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to calculate the electric field at point O due to the given sheet. This sheet is a trapezium which is a part of triangle. Let us consider the diagram like this. Here, from the apex, consider x as a general distance. Here we have taken a strip of thickness dx. The electric field DE due to this segment at point O will be k lambda by r sine of theta 1 plus sine of theta 2. Because this strip behaves like a finite line charge. In this case, theta 1 and theta 2 both are 30 degrees. Therefore, we can say that k lambda by r sine 30 degrees plus sine 30 degrees, which is equal to k lambda by r half plus half which is equal to k lambda by r. k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, which is a constant. Lambda is the linear charge density. And in question, we have been provided with sigma, which is surface charge density. If we consider the length of this strip as L, we can say that total charge on this strip is equal to sigma multiplied by L dx, which is the area of the strip. If we have to calculate its lambda, then it will be dq upon its length which is equal to sigma L dx upon L, which is equal to sigma dx. Therefore, we can say that linear charge density for this strip is surface charge density multiplied by dx. Also, in this case, R is equal to x. Therefore, we can finally say that electric field due to that small strip is equal to sigma dx multiplied by 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, multiplied by 1 by x, which is equal to sigma upon 4 pi epsilon naught, dx upon x. On integrating both sides, we have dE is equal to sigma upon 4 pi epsilon naught, dx over x. Here, the limits will be this length to this length. If this distance was given as A by 2, this angle is 60 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, therefore this angle is also going to be 60 degrees. If this length is A by 2, then this will be a by 4. Given that this is a by 4 and let us consider this length as x naught. Therefore, we can say that a by 4 upon tan 30 degrees is equal to x naught. This implies that x naught is root 3 a upon 4. In a similar manner, this length can be calculated as if this total was a then this length can be calculated as root 3 a upon 2. Therefore the limits of integration will be 
from root 3 a by 4 to root 3 a upon 2. Let us consider the integral of de is going to give us e net. Therefore, we can say that e net is equal to sigma upon 4 by epsilon naught ln x with limits root 3 a upon 4 to root 3 a upon 2. This implies that e net is equal to sigma upon 4 by epsilon naught ln root 3 a by 2 minus ln root 3 a upon 4. This makes e net is equal to sigma upon 4 by epsilon naught ln root 3 a by 2 divided by root 3 a upon 4 which is equal to sigma upon 4 by epsilon naught ln 2 putting pi equals 22 upon 7 we get e net is equal to sigma upon 4 22 upon 7 multiplied by epsilon naught ln 2 which is sigma upon 2 multiplied by 2 7 in numerator multiplied by 22 epsilon naught ln 2 which is equal to 7 sigma upon 44 epsilon naught ln root 2 by applying properties of logarithm. Now coming to options. Magnitude of electric field increases with an increase in A keeping charge density constant. The formula that we derived for electric field finally was 7 sigma upon 44 epsilon naught ln root 2. This expression does not directly depend on A if we keep charge density constant. Therefore, A is incorrect. Magnitude of E decreases with increase in A keeping total charge same. We know that sigma is equal to Q upon A. If total charge is same and length changes, therefore we can say that area also increases. If area increases and charge remains same, therefore sigma decreases. If sigma decreases and electric field is directly proportional to sigma, therefore we can say that electric field also decreases. Therefore, option B is correct. Option C. If charge density is sigma and A is equal to 1, magnitude of E is equal to 7 sigma upon 44 epsilon naught allen root 2. This is what we have already calculated. Therefore, C is correct. Option D. If charge density is sigma and A is equal to 2 meters, magnitude of electric field is going to be 7 sigma upon 22 epsilon naught allen root 2. No. The final formula is this only which is not directly dependent on A. Therefore, only B and C are correct. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.